Hello guys and welcome to Overdrive. Hi, I am Anirjit and today we are talking about the different types of engines present in our automobiles. ICE or internal combustion engine are the engines which run on fossil fuels like petrol or diesel. Now further down, there are variations to the ICE engine. Now what are they? Well, generally engines are differentiated on the basis of their configuration. Let's check them out. First, we have the inline or straight engines, which have their cylinders laid in straight, and this happens to be the most commonly used layout for engines we see in cars and motorcycles every day. In the smaller, more commuter vehicle segment, we see the usage of three or four cylinder inline engines, which are an obvious choice because they produce good amount of power with great fuel efficiency. As we go ahead towards the more performance-oriented engines, we see the usage of straight sixes like in the BMW M3 and the legendary Nissan Skyline, and straight eights and even inline fives like Mercedes-Benz have used them in their diesel segment for quite some time now. Major brands all across the world use these engines for their cars or bikes. Car and motorcycle makers like Maruti Suzuki, Tata, Bajaj and Hero at home and international brands like Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Kawasaki and Yamaha all use straight and inline cylinders which quite lays the foundation to the entire classification of engines currently in use. We have heard of three-cylinder, four-cylinder engines in our everyday cars of the likes of the Swift or the Creta or any car you name or in fact the entry-level Mercedes's use four-cylinder engines. Now let's pump up the number of cylinders, shall we? Well, to go ahead with more cylinders and more power, we need to understand the next type of engine, the V-type. In a V-type engine, the cylinder banks, that is the chamber in which the pistons move, are arranged in such a way that they look like a V when you look at it from the front. The V engine is a very popular engine layout and we often associate these to the supercar world. But the surprising part is, V engines have been in use in commuter vehicles as well. To name a few, we have the mid-range AMGs from Mercedes and the more common Honda Accord and Skoda Superb also have used V6 engines in the past. The V-type engine can fit in more cylinders and is more compact than a straight type and hence is popularly used in high-performance sports cars without making them bulky and keeping them sleek and aerodynamic and of course so cool. Supercars and luxury sedans of the likes of the Lamborghini, Ferrari, Mercedes, Maybach, Bentley all use V-type engines with cylinder counts going up to 12, making the popular V6s, V8s, V10s and V12s. As cars keep upping their cylinder count, the more popularly used V-engine in the motorcycling world are the V-twins and the V4s. Popular brands like Ducati, Kawasaki, Benelli all use V-twins and V4s in their motorcycles. With the recent Ducati Panigale, V4 being the flag bearer in that segment. However, interestingly, Honda did use a V5 engine in one of their MotoGP motorcycles. Here is a special mention to another type of engine layout, the W. More popularly seen in the hypercar realm, these engines look like a W from the front, hence the name. With room for more cylinders, popularly hosting 12 and 16 cylinders, this type still doesn't exclusively fall under the hypercar radar. The popular Audi A8L has a W16 all-wheel drive variant which made it unique amongst its rivals using a V12 engine with rear-wheel drive. The more popular W16 is the Bugatti Chiron which is definitely a hypercar fantasy for many. The last and final type is the flat engine type which is also called the boxer engine. In this arrangement, the cylinders lie flat opposite to one another and it appears as if they are boxing, hence the name. Although being flat, it gives a more balanced performance and vibrates less. And this is what makes the likes of Porsche, Subaru and other brands to use flat type boxer engines in cars with the Porsche 911 being an iconic vehicle using a flat engine since its beginning. We see the usage of boxer engine in motorcycles as well. And guess the popular brand which uses flat engines in their motorcycles? Yes, BMW makes those mean machines with the heart made of boxer engines. 
So this is it, a short and simple insight on the different types of ICE engines in vehicles now. I'll be back again next week with some more interesting facts and insight on automobiles. Hit the like button and subscribe to the Overdrive YouTube page and follow us on Instagram. I'll see you next week.